Hi all. In this class, let us learn electrochemical systems. Under this headline, electrochemical system, we have a lot of electrodes, their construction, working, and reactions. So in that first one, a reference electrode. What do you mean by reference electrodes? Reference electrodes are the electrodes whose potential is known and used for determination of potentials of unknown electrodes. We have two types of uh, reference electrodes here. Yeah? Primary reference electrodes, whose potential is fixed as zero at all temperature and pressure. Example, standard hydrogen electrode, abbreviated as SHE. Secondary reference electrode, whose potential is known and connected with the uh, standard hydrogen electrode. Secondary electro reference electrodes have several advantages over standard hydrogen electrode. And these electrodes are commonly used for determining electrode potentials of other metals. The two commonly used secondary reference electrodes are calomel electrode and silver silver chloride electrode. Now we have calomel electrode, very important question, five star question. Yeah. So let us uh, deal this uh, calomel electrode step by step. So construction, first part of the Calomel electrode explanation is how to construct this. This is actually a long glass tube with two side tubes. Calomel electrode consists of long glass tube with two side tubes. Why the side tubes are used? Where it is there, the side tubes? One side tube is at the top to fill the saturated KCl solution and the other side tube is connected to the salt bridge. That means here there are two side tubes. One side tube is used to fill the saturated solution of potassium chloride and another side tube is used to connect the electrode to the salt pit during determination. Next point is mercury is placed at the bottom which is covered with a layer of mercury and mercurous chloride that is called calomel paste. That means here at the bottom we have to place some mercury and then the mercury is covered with a layer of mercury and mercurous chloride based. That mercurous chloride is called calomel. The next thing is rest of the part, remaining portion of the glass tube, long glass tube, is filled with saturated KCl solution. Then finally, the plate is dipped into the mercury that is present at the bottom of the glass tube and it is used to provide external electrical contact. And the whole uh, Calomel electrode is represented as like this. This is Cl minus Hg to Cl2 slash Hg. What is the meaning of this representation? The chloride ions of potassium chloride is in contact with mercur mercurous chloride, the calomel, which in turn contact with mercury present at the bottom of the glass tube. Therefore, this is called cell representation or electrode calomel electrode representation. So the diagram here, this is a long glass tube, side tube, one is at the right side to fill the KCL, saturated KCL. Left side you can see here, it is to connect this electrode to the salt bridge. Bottom, what is there here? Mercury. The mercury is covered with a layer of this. This is the second layer here. Mercury and mercurous chloride, that is calomel paste. Then this is a platinum wire which is dipped into the mercury serves as, see the diagram, serves as external connection. This is the actual picture, you can see the actual picture of the calomel electrode here. Now, important point, how it works, working of calomel electrode, working is more important because here we have to explain with a reaction of anode and reaction of cathode. So this calomel electrode behaves as anode or cathode which is depending upon the nature of the other electrode we coupled. Because we are, we have to take two electrodes. The calomel electrode behaves as anode or sometimes cathode. That behavior is depending upon the other electrode we joined. Suppose, when it acts as an anode, what is the half cell reaction? The half cell reaction when it acts as an anode is this. Oxidation always at the anode oxidation occurs. 2 Hg plus 2 Cl minus gives Hg2 Cl2 plus release of two electrons. That is, release or removal of the electron is oxidation. Anode oxidation occurs. 
Suppose if the calomel electrode acts as a cathode, what is the half cell reaction? The half cell reaction when it acts as a cathode is this reduction reaction. Opposite of that, that is Hg2Cl2 plus 2 electron gives 2 Hg plus 2 Cl minus. Reduction of that. And electrode reaction, overall cell reaction, this is Hg2Cl2 plus 2 electrons, double side arrow mark C. This is the overall cell reaction. Double side arrow mark 2 Hg plus 2 Cl minus. And applying the Nernst equation for this reaction, E equals E naught minus 0, 0, 5, 9, 1 divided by N log, ratio of product concentration to the reactant concentration here. Which is the product here? These are the two products in the reaction, in the above reaction, Hg2Cl2 and, uh, sorry, these 2 Hg and 2 Cl minus are the product. Hg2Cl2 is a reactant. Let us substitute these. Hg2Cl2, that is Hg square, Cl minus square, divided by Hg2Cl2. And now, concentration of uh, Hg and Hg2Cl2 remain same, one, and therefore, the rest thing is here, E equals E naught minus 0 0.0591 divided by N. N means a number of electrons. How many electrons are releasing here? Two. Two electrons are involved in this. So, two log Cl minus. So, this is the final representation. E equals E naught minus 0 0.0591 divided by two log Cl minus concentration. What it indicates? This indicates that the calomel electrode potential depends on the concentration of a chloride ions in the KCl potassium chloride. If the concentration of the chloride ion increases, the potential decreases and vice versa. The potential of calomel is inversely proportional to the concentration of a chloride ions. And the potential of electrode is measured with respect to the primary reference electrode, that is she, SHE, standard hydrogen electrode, and it depends on the concentration of a KCl solution used. For example, KCl solution concentration is 0.1, the potential of the electrode is 0 0.334 volts. If the concentration of KCl increase to one normal, then it decreases. The potential of electrode decreases, that is 0 0.281. For the saturated solution of KCl, the potential remains 0 0.242 volts. That means here, concentration of a KCl increases, the potential of the electrode decreases, that is clearly given by this table, given in the table. So application of calomel electrode, uses of calomel electrode, we have two uses here, used to determine the potential of the other electrodes. And it's commonly used as a reference electrode in all the potentiometric determinations. This is about the construction, working, reactions, and applications of calomel electrode.